seats at, at the table. table. You <laughs> dig? Four more times. A, a seat, seat at the table. table. You dig? And that's how we do it. Welcome everybody to another episode of A Seat at the Table where we have good food, usually good conversations with good people. I'm Kelsey Mache. I'm Ashley Rowe. And today we have the pleasure of having recording artist, entrepreneur, Instagram mom with over 262,000 followers and counting, Wild B. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm quarantining and bored as hell. <laughs> I've been trying to stay as productive as possible, but I feel like I'm so ahead of everything. Like, you know, I've never been this ahead on stuff. I'm like, ugh, I need something to do. Right. So while everybody's practicing social distancing, I've seen like a lot of social media posts and stuff where people are saying this is a time to learn a new craft, to yeah. hone in on a skill that you know, you didn't know that you had. So how are you using this to your advantage or to further your career while we are self quarantined? Well, these past, I think I'm on day four or five. Um, as soon, Cause I have my daughter here. So as soon as she goes to sleep, I've been staying up and doing writing, um, recording for to like five or six in the morning. So I'm on a really, I go through different, types of schedules and one of mine is usually like overnight so I've been staying up pretty much all night trying to just lock into music or something creative. So with your daughter being home it's affected the way you had to create and things like that you have to like revise your schedule? Yes definitely mm -hmm. um, because there's always a TikTok video she wants me to freaking learn or some oh, slime yeah. or you know like you know how you can get get into a zone once you start creating when once you're paused out of that and you, you know you gotta feed it's hard to get and, back on that yeah 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 so it's just nice when i can just like have kind of silence and like the house being still you know so right so let's get into this ep so the ep is called pages of my diary i had the pleasure of listening to it earlier really mm -hmm. really good you have an amazing voice you do oh, thank you Thank you. So I noticed on there, um, so you had a song called, what was the name of it? Uh, you have songs like uh, Back to Love, uh, mm -hmm. Go Slow, and Me and All My BS. And so just mm -hmm. for everybody to kind of paraphrase what the song is about, it's about admitting that you're not perfect, saying that you never said that you were, and then also um, working on your BS like everybody else. So what was your inspiration right. for that song? Um, I feel like um people sometimes they see certain things online you know no one shows everything i'm actually very private with my dating very private and more so now i'm being more open about like what my goals are what i want to work on what has happened to me in the past to make me who i am so but i feel like people have always thought of me of something you know perfect doing this you know perfect life i'm like no i still got my shit too like you know i still mm -hmm. got a bunch of shit that i gotta figure out you know so i just wanted to let people know i'm human too you know that's so. awesome mm -hmm. gotcha so, so also oh, go ahead ash my bad you gonna feed off of that no no you go ahead oh i was just saying i read your bio as well and i noticed that you said that you were doing you're using instagram as kind of like a platform to push your music yeah so how are you doing that exactly um right now i'm having fun with it so mm -hmm. i'm building well i have a vip right so it's pretty much super fans only and i want to really empower and make sure that i'm reaching the people who are supporting me like heavy so well, now about using your super fans that's very smart. They're dope. Oh, they're yes. so dope. So <laughs> smart, yeah. So um, now what social media has turned into is obviously a promotion tool for music and, you know, other values and goals that I have, but also to kind of bring my tribe together, you know, and now that I've kind of brought like a tribe together, they are my promoters on their social media platform. So it's like we're a team and we're all, all our community all trying to get to the same goal. So, um, mm. you know, and also just having fun. Like I, I love doing different marketing, uh, 
rollouts and all kinds. It's, it's just fun coming yeah. up with different campaigns. Right. It's fun for me. Yeah. So that's so just kind of like my imagination gets to be put out. Right. So how do you think doing modeling for Instagram and then also using that platform has advanced your career? Like, has there been any significant changes? Um, you said social media? You broke mm-hmm. up, I'm sorry. Yeah, social media, I'm sorry. It's all this hair covering the microphone. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> um, it's, it gets you in contact with people that usually you wouldn't be able to. It gets a lot of eyes on you um, that right. usually you'd have have to do footwork you know I still believe in footwork but now that is like people that you do meet they can follow your journey you know they can be invested in your journey and like I said I've met a lot of people off of there um, and collaborated with a lot of people off of there in different projects just by being social and being present on the internet so it's definitely made a difference and just your reach you know right so What do you feel like you're known for the most currently and what do you want to be known for? What impact do you like to have on the world? I notice a lot of people are, you know, getting out there and they're speaking up about what's going on with coronavirus and, you know, you never know when your last day will be and the impact and the legacy that you leave behind and, you know, you do have your daughter. What is it that you mostly want to be known for when Wild B leaves this earth? Um, Freedom. Living freely you know allowing your mind to be free um think freely and also not taking stuff too seriously you know um i'm i believe in freedom in any kind of category you know like i just always been a free spirit and i feel like sometimes people get too caught up in stuff and they don't they forget to actually live you know so I want to be known for always spreading positivity and always spreading that you can be better and you can do whatever the hell you want. You know, you're the only p- person that's going to put limitations, doubts, or any kind of seeds. You got to make sure you seed yourself the right way and um, just do it. Just be free. That's it. So Right. And I, I feel that pages of my diary, your EP, actually says a lot about that I think that it speaks to your self-discovery of self-love self-actualization and seeing a person you know grow into themselves and not letting anyone impact them with the bs that they want to inflict on you right no that's exactly right and I've actually yeah go ahead I was gonna ask you to speak a little bit more about the album and you know like it's it's called pages of my diary did you actually you know write everything down in the diary and then turn it into the oh, album yeah my diary is actually over there yeah everything <laughs> is based off of uh, <laughs> based off of um real experiences and you know most artists do write from that but even some of the lyrics or how i wrote some of the songs have been me taking a passage from my diary and then create like writing it as lyrics like going from there going from a line off of there or going off of my headspace um so it's definitely very intimate for me um but I also have I've done like a audio diary like almost like a podcasting type of thing um because it's really important for me to um have memories you know because if we don't live without actually I, now my my memory is really bad, really bad so let me disclose that so all of <laughs> all of everything that i put out is just so cuz i want to remember and i want to be able to show my daughter and let her know the story behind um you know the songs and the diary passages so yeah it's really like a walking everything is like a diary all put into one just like you like a, like a story of your life yeah like so almost like a photo album like an ongoing you know right Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and thank you so much for sharing that journey. It's very special. It's, it's very intimate. You can tell that you poured a lot into it. Yeah, I did. I actually, um, there's one song that I've been kind of dragging my feet on, if I'm being honest, mm. because very, it was supposed to be on that, but it, it is very private and very raw for me um i was sexually assaulted in 2015 so the song I'm sorry, I literally it. it's okay I, i'm i'm better now um stronger um it's literally me walking through it's like a story of that entire night 
Mm. So that's something that I want to be uh, brave enough to put out next. Okay. Uh, do you have a timeline on it? And would you be willing to come back and let mm -hmm. our viewers hear that song live and speak about it once you release it? Um, yeah, I will definitely come talk to y'all about that. Um, maybe October. Maybe I'll come. Timing is okay. everything, though. Timing is Yeah, it is. Way. You don't want to yeah. rush a project, so I, I understand where you're coming from. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm thinking October, but everything has to align, you know? Mm hmm And I think that can speak to a lot of people as well. Women, I don't want to just categorize it to women, but mm -hmm. I mean, how I know a few people who recently come forward and told me that they've been assaulted, and for you to be mm -hmm. able to tell yeah. that story and put it in the music, I think a lot of people are going to be feeling that you're going to be the soundtrack to someone's life. Well, and the, one of the other reasons why um, I did it is because at a certain point, I wanted someone to talk to before I was even going to therapy. I wanted to see other people and what they were going through to see like, am I tripping or am I supposed to be feeling this way? Or is this a part of my healing? And there wasn't very many people talking about it, you know? So for me, I needed, I needed someone at, at one point. I actually found this one girl, um, I don't even remember her name to be honest, who had talked about her, her experience. And um, I also saw like people were saying, oh, thank you for sharing your story and blah, 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 blah. But um, there weren't that many people to relate to, you know? And funny enough, with the Me Too movements, I didn't really... Uh-oh. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> we said, oh. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> so it's calling me. It's probably going to call back, too. Commercial break. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, um, you know, I lost my train of thought. But um, I just kind of... Wanted to you were saying that, with the Me Too, you, the Me Too movement, you didn't feel like it was anything to specifically relate to, right? No, it, no. Hold on, let me not say that. Definitely, um, I'm glad that it's around because it's, it's putting these dudes on their toes. Now, you know they right. did it twice. So I'm not saying it did not make an impact, but there's no one who I personally related to, or no one who I personally felt like I could reach out to, or mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I also wrote it. Uh, because when I did start going to therapy, she was like, after a while, she's like, you know why you're here, why we're going to talk, you know, are you comfortable to talk about that? And she was right. like, first, before you do it, journal it, um, or let it out, however you need to let it out. And I ended up reading her that day, you know, through the song. So mm -hmm. it helped me. It, it helped therapy, like, you know, as far as therapy for that. So I hope it helps somebody else. Yeah, I definitely think it matters when you have, especially when uh, situations like this, how serious they can be. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say it like this, but you have, you know, a lot of followers and some people use that, oh, this person with this platform went through it too, you know, yeah. so they feel more comfortable to say, okay, thank you for sharing the story. Because, you know, people think because you have a lot of followers or, you know, this image or whatever on social media, life is perfect when in reality it is not, like, so... It's very, you know, brave of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So let us know what can we expect coming up soon from you. Well, I have a uh, project with the Curves Club. Um, they are like a they're just like a huge brand, like um, like G Girls. I don't know if you're familiar with G Girls, but I'm doing a special ed edition magazine with them. Um, mm. I have. I was supposed to throw a uh, spades tournament, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Yes. yes. Do it. Please. Do it. No, I'm saying I, as long as this holds out, I don't know. You know, I'm oh, have to, I still want to do it. Right. So it's kind of messing with a few of my plans. Yeah. Um, and I have my VIP ongoing. Um, it, it's growing. Um, I want to do a few events for them. But like I said, everything is up in the air right now because we were supposed to be doing something june first but so a lot of things are up in the air i have my calendar coming back out again um and then i also have a few singles um coming out in the summer which i'm putting them out no matter what no right care. yes <laughs> and that's what i'm feeling like everyone's stuck in the house anyway you might as well listen to some new music yeah so, yeah look sure. at some new content mm-hmm 
Yeah, I actually just had a, a song drop on Valentine's Day called Savage. Um, it was with the colleagues, and that one was dope. Oh, cool. So you recently did an interview with uh, Gary V. Yeah. Tell us about that. What was that like? Man, his office was like how I, I would imagine like a beehive, like <laughs> so busy. Like it was just people everywhere doing different stuff, creating. Like they gave us a tour of the office and it was just like buzzing. It was oh, so Lord. dope to see. Um, they had different sets everywhere. Um, everybody was really friendly. It was, it was, it was a really dope experience. And Gary was Gary. He's so wrong. <laughs> straight to the point. Right. Straight to mm -hmm. the point. Were you, were you, were you nervous about it with him being so straight to the point? No, I, I like it raw like that. I prefer it raw like that. Rip the bandaid off type of thing. So I, right. and then what was what it I, like with DJ Smalls? <laughs> what was it like with DJ Smalls? DJ Smalls is so cool. Him, I, him and I have become really good friends. Um, he's actually pretty damn funny, but he's <laughs> like, you know, that laid back, like sarcastic type of funny. So yeah. you got to catch it back <laughs> in. <laughs> um, but he, he was cool. He's always a pleasure. He's always a pleasure. That's awesome. So tell the viewers, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Tell the mm -hmm. viewers how they can get a hold of you. Tell them how to follow you. Um, you can go to my website is itswildb.com that's i-t-s-w-i-l-d-b.com and from there we'll take you wherever you want to go it'll take you to my socials it'll take you to my vip if you are a super fan um it'll take you to the store it'll take you to videos music all that so you know that's mm -hmm. that's the hub of wild b and how can they become a super fan well you got to prove that you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I did this thing. I did this thing. It was a, it was a joke at first. Um, so I was like, yo, you know, I I know y'all. I'm a very sexy brand. You know, I know y'all perv out. I'm a pervert too. And I, you know, I ain't no cap. I'm a little bit of a pervert too. But if y'all gonna be around, I need y'all to perv and promote. You know, like you see me trying to do pursue music. I need you to. We gotta do both. So now they're starting to call themselves my my perverts, but they are my pervs, but they also promote heavy word of mouth. Like they're always showing that they're they're trying to get to the next goal with me. So mm -hmm. it it is a paid membership, but you have to also there's you know some things you gotta do before you can get in, regardless, and stay in. That's what's up. So thank you all for tuning in. This has been thank you so much to Wild B for joining us. I'm Thank Kelsey Mache. Ashley Rowe. And this has been another episode of A Seat at the a Table. Seat at the Table. <laughs> Bye. Be a good Bye. What is it Marcus always says? Be a good person or a perv. Be a good person. <laughs> or a perv. I like that. Bye.